Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, and today we are playing Manchester City. Currently, number one in the Barclays Premier League. We are number five. Um, I have learned something important in the last day, uh, which is that we are not going to make it if we are tied on points we are not going to make it because we have the worst goal differential of any of these teams because we never score more than one even against really good teams except for Manchester United um I mean even against really bad teams so uh yeah so w w we need a lot of points that's what it boils down to uh and this is our big streak right here where we're playing all the best teams in the world in at least in England uh, we just beat Manchester United heroically, uh, thanks to goals from John Green, John Green, and D. McGoldrelocks. And today we are going to play Manchester City, a team, on paper at least, even better than Manchester United. So we're going to need to bring our A game. Um, and uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of hope. Uh, the locker room after the the game was awesome. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. If I just passed the ball, John Green, I would have scored there. I apologize to my friends and family. Um, it was awesome to see everybody so excited, um, and especially Ginger Rampage, who was in tears. Uh, it was really, really wonderful. So I want to thank the supporters for making that victory possible. Today I want to talk about um, uh, heroism in video games and uh, how it Sorry, I had to sniffle. Heroism in video games and um, what it says and doesn't say about heroism in real life. Uh, so, those of you who've watched... I gotta sneeze. Those of you who've read The Fault in Our Stars, um, or actually any of my other books as well, um, will know that I'm really interested in video games, and I write a lot about video games. I'm interested in the role that video games play in people's lives, especially... Uh, teenage boys um, when they're trying to figure out sort of like how to lead a heroic life and what constitutes a heroic life and what's a good system of ethics and and most importantly um, what you do when your system of ethics uh, when like w what is good for you wait is twice as vice injured because he looked hurt there for for us oh dang it he's the best he's twice as vice how can he get injured? He has twice as vice as everybody else. That is really frustrating. You don't want to see twice as vice hurt, ever. He's a great player. I don't know why we always go to Ginger Rampage these days, but I like it because he's a beautiful man. Um, all right. Let's 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 hope for the best. Here we go. We're going to have Escar go. He's going to kick it long. And we're just going to hope that Ball John Green gets on the end of it. He didn't. Um, so what I find so interesting is that in video games, almost always there is a, oh, what is this? What is this? Bald John Green to other John Green, John Green's John Green's bald and other John Green's, they love each other and they love our team. Oh, I mean, other John Green has a heading style that just is so relaxed. It just makes him look like, oh, the ball hit my head and went into the net. Well, I'll be. Um, it's so cool. It's it's the coolest heading style of any player I've ever seen. Uh, it's so much cooler than uh, than Manchester City's heading style, which is like, oh, look at us. We're so good at heading. Um, right. So uh, in every video game, there is a system of ethics. Uh, and the, 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 the character you are is usually, even, even in video games where ca the character you are does really bad things, uh, he or she, but let's face it, usually he, uh, does those things, um, because they are in line with the system of ethics and, and, and a system and, and a list of values that the, that the, that the, the video game character tends to live by. Um, so in Grand Theft Auto, for instance, which is a game like not known for its, uh, for its, its great ethics or values, you have a character who, um, do not call a foul on me. I hate this game! Stupid game. All right, we've done it before. We can do it again. It's 1-1. One, one. James Milner. Stupid James Milner. I would, I mean, how much money? I would, I would love to have James Milner on my team. Who am I kidding? That would be awesome, but it's never going to happen. Instead, we've got the, we've got the John Greens, and they're great too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, almost. Almost. We made them desperately defend, though. I like to see them defend desperately. That's fun. Come on. Get in there. Oh, that was too... He won for the volley. That was too ambitious. All right. So there's always a system of ethics. So, it, you know, like in, in Grand Theft Auto, it's always about... It's all it's all about not snitching. Um, and... Um, and then, you know, like becoming successful, but in a way that like in a way that also like takes care of your family, although the stand in for your family is not your actual family in this case, but like your your posse, your crew, whatever. Um, and if you violate that relationship, it's always for a reason that has to do with your system of ethics, or at least if it doesn't have to do with your system of ethics, then you're always made to feel sort of bad about it. Um but the thing that most of these games celebrate more over over everything else, um, as I talk about the Fault in Our Stars, is sacrifice. Um, and that the greatest of all virtues is the virtue of sacrifice. Sacrificing uh, for your comrades, sacrificing for your country, sacrificing for your family, whatever it is. Um, finding ways to, uh, to, to give um, so that uh, whether it's, whether it's, you know, your life or your money or whatever, but like you're faced with these moral choices. And in the end, like you uh, are encouraged or, or like, or like you, you, you know, making, making the, the, the choice that, that is in line with your system of ethics that like sacrifices something that you want so that you're, you, Oh, that was a terrible pass so that you can maintain uh, your system of ethics and your, your, your sort of personal integrity. Um, that is celebrated uh, in games, whether it's in, you know, Halo or Assassin's Creed or whatever, that is always celebrated. And I find that it's 1-1 at halftime, by the way. I find that really interesting because we don't celebrate that as much outside the world of video games. We used to. I mean, that used to be sort of the core value um, of humans. And, and uh, I mean, it's certainly the, the, you know, the value that's at the core of most religious traditions. Um and uh, and it and and also, by the way, at the core of most uh, secular, humanist, atheistic, um, ethical systems. I'm not trying in any way to uh, claim uh, that religious traditions have the only uh, ethical systems. But um, it, for instance, in America today, we tend to celebrate success over sacrifice, and that and and we tend to say that if you're forced to choose between ethics and um, uh, and financial success, that as long as your choice is legal, you should make the choice for financial success or fame or whatever it is. So we tend to celebrate people who have made those choices to, to, get, um, uh, to get theirs, as the saying goes, over um, people who, oh, we get a corner kick, over people who maybe have chosen not to get theirs because it doesn't line up with their ethical system. Uh, I find that really, really interesting that in video games, we... Um, we celebrate this in a way that we don't celebrate it outside of video games. And people are always talking about how video games are like, you know, ruining, uh, ruining America and everything. And that like it's a big waste of time and that like, you know, children uh, are, are learning violence and all whatever, whatever, whatever. But one of the things that children are learning is that uh, there are times when you have to do something in the name of your ethical system that is inconvenient to you or that even that is painful for you or even that involves your death. Um, that idea of an ultimate concern, uh, that, that like there is something worth dying for in this world, um, is pretty foreign to most of us, at least outside of the world of the military. I mean, inside the military, there, there is still very much the idea that sacrifice for your country and for your comrades is valuable and is to be celebrated. Outside of that, you rarely see it. Um, it, it's just not talked about much, like... Uh, and, and I, I find that really interesting that we, um, have backed away from that value. Uh, and I, by the way, I might be wrong about any of this, or I certainly might be exaggerating it. Um, but like, I, I, I find at least that's sort of anecdotally how I feel that we've backed away from the idea of sacrifice a little bit in favor of the idea that like success is good. Success should be rewarded. Success should never be punished. Like in the form of, for instance, having to pay higher taxes, things like that. Um, and that, you know, like the the goal of humans is to be successful and to compete successfully and that people who do that are you know winning no matter what else they may you know no matter what else they may have have lost in that process um 
And I, I just, I, I think it's interesting that like in the end, video games put forth more old fashioned values than, um, than you see in a lot of our political discourse or, or certainly a lot of our cultural discourse about, you know, who should be famous and rich. Um, you know, you, you look at the Kardashians, it's very difficult to argue that uh, Kim Kardashian or, or Khloe Kardashian or, or, or the other one um, feel or if there's more than more than one other one than than both of the other ones that um, that like what we're celebrating when we celebrate them is uh, sacrifice or, or adherence to a set of ethics that, um, you know, that the rest of us wouldn't live by or whatever else. Um, uh, you know, like it's not like they're they're greater than oh French the Lana is 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 ha <laughs> hurt. How did this happen? These Manchester United boys they are they are not nice to our players. All right, I got to save my third substitution for Demon Goldrelocks. Uh, actually, it's it's time, isn't it? It's time. It's the seventy sixth minute. It's time. All right. Uh, so I think I'm going to take out Bald John Green and I'm going to bring in Demon Goldrelocks. And I think that is the right position for them. Yes, that is where I want them. Okay. It worked last time anyway. All right, let's 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 have our last two substitutions. Uh, one for injury, the other for strategy. And let's try to win this game, boys. Let's do it. D. McGoldrylocks with his first touch of the ball. Great idea um, to pass it into no man's land. Uh, just kidding. That was a terrible idea. Um I I I like I like video games partly because they they celebrate people who live by systems of ethics um, and then at least you can have a conversation like is this ethical system valid instead of just sort of doing the default thing which is to uh, try to acquire the most resources as many resources as possible um, and then to you know like use them to make yourself like happy and entertained um, I don't really think that's a particularly good worldview. Ah, uh, D. McGoldrylocks, not a great crosser of the ball, it must be said. Um, so in the end, like for for me, it 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 the old fashioned values that you find that you do find in um, in video games, the values of uh, you know of 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 giving back, as it were. Oh, it's frustrating. Um, are to be celebrated and I think that's something that video games give us instead of something that video games take away from us. Mario Balotelli's coming on. That's a little frightening. He's talented. Um and I uh yeah. So I I like that's part of why I like video games. I'm also I have to say very conscious of this stuff when I'm thinking about the Swoodly Poopers. Um and when I'm think really? You thought that's what I wanted to do? That that seemed like a reasonable decision to you? To yeah. Okay. It's the 90th minute, the minute when we either score or don't, usually don't. Um, let's see how it goes here. Wide. Yes. Go. 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 Hold on to the ball. Get up. To Demon Goldrelocks. Oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, he just couldn't get much on the ball. Oh, it's devastating for Swindon Town. 1-1. One, one. A draw against Manchester City. And look, who would have ever thought we live in a world in which Manchester City would be thrilled with an, a home draw against Swindon Town. But there they are congratulating themselves. Yes, indeed. Congratulations. Gah! Ugh, best wishes.